Imagine directing a huge truck where to go and maximizing its earnings. Sounds cool, right? That's exactly what a truck dispatcher does. Think of it as being the air traffic controller of the trucking world. This is Nikki and welcome to Max Truckers. wondered what it takes to be the mastermind behind those big rigs rolling down the highway? You're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of truck dispatching. Let's find out how to become a top-notch freight dispatcher. Step one is to find a carrier or owner-operator. So who is a carrier or owner-operator? A carrier or owner-operator is an individual or business that owns and operates their own truck or fleet. They transport loads from point A to point B and get paid for it. These professionals usually work independently or with freight dispatchers to handle their loads. Now let's talk about how to find or contact owner operators. Here are some effective methods. First, try load boards. These online platforms allow you to post and find available freight loads and connect with owner operators. The second thing is to check out trucking industry websites and forums. These often have directories and community discussions where you can find owner operators. The third thing is social media, which is another great tool. Now, platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook, especially trucking specific groups, can help you network with owner operators. And don't forget traditional networking. Visit truck stops and attend trade shows to make valuable connections in person. Step two is working on contract. Now, once you've found an owner operator to work with, it's time to draft a dispatch contract. This document is essential as it outlines the relationship and responsibilities between you and the carrier. Make sure your contract includes the first step is define the roles and responsibilities of both parties. This ensures that everyone knows what's expected. Next is to detail the compensation structure. This includes payment rates and when payments will be made. Specify the insurance requirements necessary for transporting goods. This helps protect both parties. Include a termination clause. This outlines the conditions under which either party can end the contract. Add a dispute resolution section to handle any disagreements that might come up. And don't forget, both parties need to sign and date the contract to make it official. Step 3 is finding a suitable load for your carrier or owner operator. The next thing is to match the right loads with the right trucks. For example, if you're dispatching a refrigerated truck, you should look for loads that require temperature control, such as perishable goods like food or dairy products. Consider the following details to ensure a successful match. The type of truck, load requirements, route and timing, compliance and documentation. Clear and consistent communication with truckers, brokers, and shippers is crucial to ensure a smooth operation. This includes confirming details like pickup and delivery times, load specifics, and any special instructions. Keeping all parties informed helps prevent misunderstandings and ensures that everything runs efficiently. Now let's take a brief pause. We have some exciting news to share with you. As we are talking about dispatch, and if you're looking to kickstart a high paying career in truck dispatching, the Max Truckers Dispatch course is your fast track to success. Designed by expert dispatchers, this online course gives you exclusive insights from industry leaders, providing all the tools you need to excel and start earning from home in just a few weeks. 
Don't wait, join today and take control of your future. Check the description below for offer details. Also, if you're a carrier looking for a reliable truck dispatch service, our MT Speed Dispatch is exactly what you need. Ranked among the top five truck dispatchers in the US with over eight years of experience and more than 300 carriers served, we ensure your trucks stay moving and your profits keep growing. We provide high paying loads at pocket friendly rates. Join MT Speed today and take your trucking business to the next level. Check the description for more details. Now let's start off from where we left. Step 4 is rate negotiation. Importance of good communication and negotiation skills. Good communication and negotiation skills are crucial for a dispatcher. They help in building rapport with brokers, resolving conflicts, and ensuring overall efficiency. Why is rate negotiation important for successful trucking load booking? In trucking, every dollar counts. Securing the best rate means more money for the trucker and a happier customer. It's like finding extra coins in your pocket. Everyone appreciates a little extra. How to achieve effective rate negotiation with brokers and shippers. Negotiation is like a game of chess. Your goal is to secure the best price for your trucker while keeping the shipper satisfied. This involves finding the right balance. Familiarize yourself with competitive rates for different routes and understand market trends. Practice your negotiation skills regularly and don't be afraid to start small. Getting the best RPM or rate per mile. To maximize efficiency and performance in trucking, aim to keep your RPMs high by adjusting based on the load and terrain. Understanding your truck's characteristics and practicing techniques like progressive shifting can enhance both fuel efficiency and performance. Preferred routes. The terrain you operate on can impact the rate charged for your load. Challenging terrains might justify higher rates. If you specialize in certain lanes, you can leverage your expertise to negotiate better rates. Other factors influencing RPM are the demand for drivers in a location and the traffic patterns of a lane can affect the rate per mile. The balance of supply and demand for carriers or drivers will influence the RPM. How to work optimally as a freight dispatcher. Being a freight dispatcher is a balancing act. Truckers want to maximize their earnings, fleet owners aim to keep trucks moving, and owner-operators strive for independence. Your role is to coordinate these interests effectively. Strong communication, planning, and problem-solving skills are essential. How to research for the best rate. Finding the best rate is akin to hunting for treasure. Utilize online tools, consult with other dispatchers, and stay informed about market conditions. The more knowledge you have about the market, the better deals you can secure. Step 5 is preparing the driver for pickup and delivery. Let's say your driver is picking up a load in Dallas and delivering it all the way to Chicago. As a dispatcher, you need to provide the driver with the following details. The first one is pick up and drop off locations. Clearly specify where the driver needs to pick up and deliver the load. The second thing is time, including the scheduled times for both pickup and drop off. The third one is required documents. Make sure the driver has all necessary paperwork such as bills of lading or permits. The fourth one is additional charges. Inform the driver about any extra fees that may apply, such as lumber fees. The smoother you make this process, the happier both your driver and the carrier will be. Step 6 is post-delivery documentation. After the delivery is completed, it's essential to gather and verify all relevant documents from the driver. This includes the bill of lading, which is a BOL, so verify that the BOL is accurately filled out and signed. 
This document serves as the legal proof of the freight agreement and details the goods transported. The second one is the proof of delivery or a POD. Ensure the driver obtains a signature from the receiver confirming that the load was delivered as per the agreement. The third one is additional documentation. Depending on the load, you might also need other documents such as customs paperwork, inspection reports, or receipts for any extra charges. Check that all documents are signed, dated, and accurate. Proper documentation is critical for invoicing and ensuring timely payment from the broker or factoring company as discrepancies or missing paperwork can delay payments or lead to disputes so thoroughness is key. Step 7 is processing documents for payment. The first one is to verify documentation. Ensure that all documents such as the proof of delivery or the bill of lading, rate confirmation and additional documents are correctly prepared and complete. Check that they are accurate and have been properly signed and dated. The second thing is to create an invoice. Prepare an invoice for the trucking company including all necessary details for accurate billing. This should encompass the agreed upon rate any additional charges and a breakdown of services provided. Ensure that the invoice is clear and professional. The third one is submitting the document to the broker. Submit the completed invoice and supporting documentation to the broker for payment processing. Confirm that the submission method meets the broker's requirements, whether it's electronic or physical. Follow up to ensure that the invoice has been received and is being processed. That's a wrap! Truck dispatching is all about smart planning, strong communication, and quick thinking. It's a challenging job but incredibly rewarding when done right. If you're ready to take control and keep those trucks rolling, start putting these steps into action. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more insights and tips. Also, make sure to check the description below for more links and details. Now go out there and make your mark in the world of trucking. See you next time.